from the month of June onwards, in woods or in woodyards, we find the female wood wasps busily engaged, boring into the wood of larch and other conifers with their powerful egg-laying drills. With these, they excavate a tunnel about three quarters of an inch in depth, and in this, they deposit from two to seven eggs. This drill, or ovipositor, is composed of three parts. Two of these are equipped with saw teeth at the end. With these saws, which work vertically, the insect can cut through the most solid wood in a very short time. A male insect settled upon the bark of the tree. He is smaller than the female, differently colored, and can also be distinguished by the absence of the powerful ovipositor. The egg tunnel of the wood wasp in section, showing the eggs lying in it, one above the other, A single egg, magnified. It is about one twelfth of an inch long, elongate oval in shape and shining. It is covered by a thin membrane of a curious pattern, only visible under the microscope. The eggs hatch in five to six weeks. The young larvae. These larvae are characterized by the presence at the tail end of a sharp pointed spine. This spine is used by the larva to pack the wood dust in the tunnel behind it and probably also aids progress. The larva tunnels in the wood with its powerful jaws or mandibles which are armed with teeth. It is seen here in face view and the working of the jaws clearly demonstrated. For three years or more, the lava tunnels through the wood gradually enlarging the tunnel as it grows. This larva is about half grown. The larva full grown, lying in the cell where it will change into a pupa. The glistening white color, the well-marked body segments are clearly seen. Also, the three pairs of rudimentary legs born on the segments next to the head. The smoothness of the tunnel walls is remarkable. They look as though they had been machine turned. Another view of the lava's head. It is much smoother and more shining than the rest of the body. The legs are again visible. The larva appears to use these for pushing wood particles out of the way as it bores through the wood. After resting some time in its wood cell, the larva prepares to enter the stage previous to that of the pupa. The wrinkled skin shows that a moult is about to take place. The pre-pupal stage. The pupal stage proper. Two pupae lying side by side. The one on the left is a male, the one on the right a female. 
note that all parts of the future adults can be distinguished. Antennae, wings, legs, etc. A female pupa removed for closer examination. This is an early stage, the pupa being quite white, with the exception of the eyes, which show some trace of color. A series of pictures showing the coloration of the pupa over a period of time. This commences with the eyes, followed by the head and thorax. The abdomen, legs and antennae are the last to darken. The pupil stage varies in length from five to six weeks. The pupil skin cast off, the wood wasp begins boring to the surface, constructing a perfectly smooth tunnel with her powerful jaws. The exit holes by which the insects leave the trees are always circular and differ from those made by certain boring beetles, which may live in the same logs, but which make oval-shaped exit holes. Some studies of wood wasps of both sexes emerging from the wood. A female. A male. A portion of the bark of a larch tree showing the emergence holes of the wood wasps. <laughs> 